And it came to pass, when they had left off speaking, that Holofernes, being in a violent passion, said to Achior, Because thou hast prophesied unto us, saying, That the nation of Israel is defended by their God, to show thee that there is no God but Nebuchadnezzar. When we shall slay them all as one man, then thou also shalt die with them by the sword of the Assyrians, and all Israel shall perish with thee. And thou shalt find that Nebuchadnezzar is lord of the whole earth. And then the sword of my soldiers shall pass through thy sides, and thou shalt be stabbed and fall among the wounded of Israel, and thou shalt breathe no more till thou be destroyed with them. But if thou think thy prophecy true, let not thy countenance sink, and let the paleness that is in thy face depart from thee, if thou imaginest these my words cannot be accomplished. And that thou mayest know that thou shalt experience these things together with them, behold, from this hour thou shalt be associated to their people, that when they shall receive the punishment they deserve from my sword, thou mayest fall under the same vengeance. Then Holofernes commanded his servants to take Achior, and to lead him to Bethulia, and to deliver him into the hands of the children of Israel. And the servants of Holofernes, taking him, went through the plains. But when they came near the mountains, the slingers came out against them. Then, Turning out of the way by the side of the mountain, they tied Achior to a tree, hand and foot, and so left him bound with ropes, and returned to their master. And the children of Israel, coming down from Bethulia, came to him, and loosing him, they brought him to Bethulia, and setting him in the midst of the people, asked him, what was the matter that the Assyrians had left him bound? In those days the rulers there were Ozias, the son of Micah, of the tribe of Simeon, and Carmi, called also Gothaniel. And Achior related in the midst of the ancients, and in the presence of all the people, all that he had said, being asked by Holofernes, and how the people of Holofernes would have killed him for this word, and how Holofernes himself, being angry, had commanded him to be delivered for this cause to the Israelites, that when he should overcome the children of Israel, then he might command Achior also himself to be put to death by diverse torments, for having said, The God of heaven is their defender." And when Achior had declared all these things, all the people fell upon their faces, adoring the Lord. And all of them together, mourning and weeping, poured out their prayers with one accord to the Lord, saying, O Lord God of heaven and earth, behold their pride, and look on our low condition, and have regard to the face of thy saints and show that thou forsakes not them that trust on thee, and that thou humblest them that presume of themselves, and glory in their own strength. So when their weeping was ended, and the people's prayer, in which they continued all the day, was concluded, they comforted Achior, saying, The God of our fathers, whose power thou hast set forth, will make this return to thee, that thou rather shalt see their destruction. And when the Lord our God shall give this liberty to his servants, let God be with thee also in the midst of us, that, as it shall please thee, so thou with all thine mayest converse with us. Then Ozias, after the assembly was broken up, received him into his house, and made him a great supper. And all the ancients were invited, and they refreshed themselves together after their fast was over. And afterwards all the people were called together, 
and they prayed all the night long within the church, desiring help of the God of Israel.